I know you're probably wondering, what in the world is going on with this closet? You know what? I can explain. Man, it was a week before Halloween, and I was still trying to come up with a great idea to prank my dad. So on my way to the room, I decided to come up with a brilliant idea. This time, I was going to teach my dad a lesson not to ever in his life prank me ever again. Ever, ever, never, ever, whatever, ever, never. As soon as my dad left the room and turned the light off, I knew it was my time to shine. It is turpin time. Wait, hold up. I think it's morphin time. Either way, it's time to switch into character. Let's get it in. I had no idea how this prank could possibly backfire, so I just kept getting out of bed and going into his room. And I told him, I said, <laughs> My dad got up, and for somehow, he actually slid across the living room floor. Once he got in my room, he started looking. He started looking and didn't see anything. Well, he didn't look hard enough, but he kept looking and trying to make me feel comfortable. But he knew that I knew that there was no monster in my room. Come on, Dad. I'm smarter than what you think I am. Go ahead, get in the bed, dude. Get in the bed. He picked me up and put me in my bed, and he told me, Hey, stop laughing. Stop laughing. It's not funny. Don't do that again. So once he tucked me in again, I decided, Hey, it's morphin' time, or is it turpin' time? Either way, I'm not cleaning anything. But uh, let's transform and take character again. <laughs> Look at him. He done got comfortable and I done got him out of bed. <laughs> this is perfect. My plan is working. It is working. But once my dad got into my room, he turned the light on and he decided not to look under the bed and, and looked in the closet for some reason. He might have heard something in there, but I, I'm not sure. So he closed the closet and he was just thinking, hmm, man, I could have sworn I heard something. Man, just get in the bed, get in the bed. So he helped me get in bed once again and he tucked me in and told me, if you hear anything, you need to come and tell me right away. All right, I'll be in the next room and just come get me, all right? I love you. Good night, baby. He said, stop laughing. It is not funny. And he left out of my room once again. <laughs> oh, man, look at him. This time after he laid me down, things was a little bit different because he decided to close my door and he was peeking in at me just to see if I was going to get up. But I'm smart. I was listening for his footsteps this time. However, I think he did try to be quiet, but he got heavy feet. Look at him trying to creep across the living room floor. That's not going to work. Once again, I tried to sneak out of my room, but this time things was a little different. He was actually smarter than I thought he was. He was waiting on me to step out the door and wow, I was shocked. I seen him right there and he walked me back, pointed to that direction and said, get in the bed. I got in the bed and tucked myself in this time. A couple hours later, I was just playing with a flashlight for some reason and I noticed that the the door was shaking. Oh my goodness. Help me, Dad! 